Mr. Marroquín. Hi, Mr. How are you? Good. How are you? How Good was your day? Good evening. Good evening. Right. I have a question. Yes. Uh, because I have I have seen in the in the, in the Facebook that uh -huh. somebody put somebody put in, inbox with M. I think it's, it's wrong, isn't it? Yeah, it's wrong. How to do it with N? N as in Nancy. Yeah. Exactly. I, I have I have seen that someone put if you if you're interested inbox with M. Yeah. Yeah. That's not that's not good, isn't it? No, it's not. No, yeah, it's not. Yeah. You know that even in Spanish, you know, people make uh, big mistakes when it comes to spelling, let alone English. Yeah. Do you remember the expression let alone? Sorry, leave alone or what? Let alone. So listen. Ah, oh, listen, oh listen. I, I get it. I get it. Uh, let alone, yeah. Yeah, let alone. Ya no digamos. Let alone. So people make mistakes when they type in Spanish, let alone, if English is not their first language. So people make mistakes. Yep. Yeah. All right. Welcome back, everybody. Welcome to our last class. Thank you for being brave. Thank you for <laughs> spending investing one hour of your time from 9 to 10 p.m. I know it's not easy, but yeah. this is made for brave people. So, and you guys are brave people. So congratulations. Thank you. All right, so welcome back everybody. Arnoldo, Versave, Guillermo and Eduardo. Uh, how was your day? How was your day, people? Hectic, teacher. Hectic. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yep, yep. Yeah, so, uh, you know, so every day is different. You know, like some days are hectic, some days are quiet, mm. easy. Yes. Right. Relax. <laughs> right, right, right. Okay, so what is today's date? Today is... Uh, Thursday, 19. Uh, Thursday, 19th, yeah. 2020, teacher. Okay, what month? November. Yes, November. November, November. Yes, November 19, 2020, Thursday, right? Thursday. Okay, good. Welcome back. Uh, do you guys remember the topics that we covered yesterday? Uh, finishing that, that. Ending? Tag questions, right? Tag questions, tag sorry. Tag yeah. questions. Yeah, you can also say tag endings, yes. Um, what, what is the function of a tag question? If you start in negative, uh, it is in positive. Okay, if the sentence is positive, the tag question has to be negative yeah. and vice versa. If the information is negative, the third question has to be positive. Now, what is the function? What's the function? Uh, we use them when we expect to the other person Opin we are talking to agree with or opinion. Right. For opinion. Right. Yes. You make tag questions when you expect the other person to agree with you. Right. Uh, and what is the other function? What is the other function? When it's you like want, to, uh huh. Go ahead. Uh, I'm sorry. I, I'm not sure, but I, this is something it has something to do with when you want to remark or some specific information or something like that. Yes. I can remember actually. Right. Yeah. It, when you make rhetorical questions, you know, rhetorical. When you make a rhetorical question. You, we know the answer already, but you want to confirm, you want to reinforce. Or how oh, do you yeah, say, right. how do you say Emphasis. aclarar in English? Clarify. Clarify, exactly. So we use that questions when you expect the other person to agree with you or to clarify information, right? Mm -hmm. 
So you said uh, um, Alejandro Fernandez is from Colombia, isn't he? What is the what is the answer for that one? It's not no, true. He is, he is Mexican from Mexico. Exactly, exactly. So when you make a tag question, you expect an answer. You say, hey, Alejandro Fernandez is from Colombia, isn't he? No, he's not. He's from Mexico, right? Mm -hmm. So you want to clarify uh, information. So remember, uh, you go positive, negative, negative, positive. What is the only exception? Are, are you when what is the only exception? I am. Um, uh -huh. I, you know, are what do you I, say I am? I, 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 I'm, are I, 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 I are, are I okay? I am the manager. I am the manager. Are, are I? Are I? R and I. R and I. R and I. R and I. I am the manager. R and I. Yes, R and I. R and I. Yo soy el gerente. Oh, no, right? So I'm the manager. R and I. So that is the only exception. That we have in tag questions. Any questions or comments? No. Okay. Sure. Um, in this level, we discussed um, different topics. Some of those topics were more relevant than the others. Do you guys remember the third conditional? Si yo te hubiera escuchado. If I, if I had listened. Excellent. If I had listened to you, hubiera agarrado el empleo. I would get I would the employment. I would have. I would have. I would have. I would have get. Got the employment. Okay, so you said, if I had listened to you, I would have gotten the I job. I would have gotten, gotten the, the job, exactly, the job. exactly, good. Listen. So you said, it, it's in the chat, if I had listened to you, I would have gotten the job. I would have gotten the job, right. So, si te hubiera escuchado, I would have gotten the job. How many, how many conditionals are there in English? If I would have. How, how many conditionals are there? There are four conditionals. Zero conditional, first conditional, second conditional, and the one that we're practicing right now, the third conditional. Right? Okay. Do you third remember condition. the differences between the four conditionals? What is the first conditional? Um, how do you say regar las plantas? To sprinkle. To, to, wet, to wet the floor, no. To sprinkle. Okay. How do you say I, agua in English? Water. Water. If you water, water the plants, um, what happens when you water the plants? The, the plants the, grow the plants up. Grow. Exactly. Yeah. All right. So that is the zero conditional. Um, if you water the plants, they grow. True or not? It's true. true. So that is zero conditional when you're expressing something that is always true, right? Zero conditional. Zero conditional, something that is okay. always true. Then we have the uh -huh. first conditional. Something. First conditional is when you do something now and the result is in the future. What happens if you go to the gym? You get muscles? Lo, lo, los 
way. You will lose weight. Okay. Let's see this here. If you go to the gym, you will lose weight. You see the example? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. Si vas al gimnasio, vas a perder peso. That's the first conditional. An action now with a result in the future. Mm -hmm. An action now result in the future. Second conditional is something that is not true when you're speaking. Si usted bebiera agua, how do you say that? Si usted bebiera, if you have if you drank water, water without, uh -uh. Without Listen. take water. Remember, we use the second conditional to talk about things that are not true when you're speaking. And the rule says that it is mandatory that you use the structure of the simple past. What is the past tense of drink? Drunk. Drunk. Drink. Drink. So how do you say si usted debiera más agua? If you would have drank. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. No. If, if you, you would, have drank. Uh, listen, listen. Would, you need to use the simple past structure. If you drank. Exactly. If you drank. Water. Okay. If you, if you drank more water, sus riñones estarían mejor. Your kidneys will be better. Exactly. Your kidneys would be better. Be better. Okay. Now, this is the doctor drunk. speaking. They said, Francisco, if you drank more water, your kidneys would be better. Si usted bebiera más agua. Now, can you change this situation? Yes, you can. So you said, oh, my goodness, the doctor is right. So I'm going to start drinking more water next week. So that is the second conditional. When you use the second conditional, it is mandatory that you use the structure of the simple past tense. Simple past tense. Right. So it's if you had drunk. No. If you drank more water. Simple past muscle. tense. Yeah. Your kidneys mm -hmm. would be better. How do you say mm -hmm. si usted no bebiera agua? If you didn't drink, exactly. you didn't drink exactly. water. Uh -huh. So the information is positive or negative. You always have to use the simple past uh, structure. Mm -hmm. Now, how do you say, si yo te hubiera escuchado? That is the third conditional. If I heard you. If I had I listened you. to you. Listen to you. If I had listened to you. Mm -hmm. Hubiera agarrado case, el trabajo. The moral. What is it? In this case, we use the moral. Yes, in the second part. If I had listened to you, hubiera agarrado el empleo. How do you say that one? I would, I would get the employment. I would have. I would have. I would, I would have. have get the employment. I would have gotten the job. I would yeah, have really? gotten the job. Got, got, got it. Got it. Or, or you say, si yo te hubiera escuchado, no estaría en esta situación. If I had, si yo te hubiera, if I had listened to you, if I had, I, I, I wouldn't. Be, I wouldn't Situation. I wouldn't be in that position. In this situation. Can you write, please, teacher? If I have... Are you in mute, teacher? I'm sorry. So, if I had listened to you, si yo te hubiera escuchado, 
I wouldn't have gotten in this situation. No me hubiera metido en esta situación. That is the third conditional. Wouldn't have. I wouldn't have gotten in this have, situation, right? Have so gotten. that is that is the um, the third conditional. Any questions or comments about any of the four conditionals? Need to study, teacher. I yeah, you, you, yeah. Practice. Remember, practice makes perfect. Practice makes perfect. And okay. that's the idea of connecting to the class uh, as much as possible. Because when you're in front of the platform, you know you're doing your work and everything, but you also need to practice in a real life situation, right? Yes, yes, teacher. Uh, teacher, uh, I don't yes, know. Uh, it seems that the first and the third one are very similar. How can we difference them? Or how can we know when okay. how to use uh, this or that? Okay. They, they look very similar. Yeah, they look similar, but they are the same. If you analyze uh, the second conditional, the example number three, if you drink more water, si usted bebiera más agua, when you're using the 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 second conditional, it is necessary that the person uses uh, the simple past structure. With the third conditional, by using the past perfect, the complement has to be um, past models, past models or third conditional. Mm -hmm. So, you know, like they, nope. they, they look very similar but they are different. If you analyze each one of them, they are different. I, I, I'm sorry, I think that I got confused. Um, I, I meant to say the zero conditional. Oh, this, this the zero, zero. Yeah, the zero conditional is something that is always true. If you save money, you but are prepared uh, for basically emergency. basically the same structure there one. Mm -hmm. No, uh, they, if you use zero conditional, um, the form of the verb is always base form. If you water plants, they grow. Si usted riega las plantas, crecen. So you use the, the, the like, what is it? Like if you stand in the rain, you get wet? Right. If you stay in the rain, you get wet. Simple as that. So the zero conditional mm -hmm. is to talk about facts that are always true. Right? Mm -hmm. If you drink, you get a hangover. Do you remember the meaning of hangover? Yep. Been drunk early. <laughs> yeah, those uh, symptoms. Every, every weekend they say. Day. Every weekend they say. <laughs> yeah, I, say, I have a hangover. Every, every, every Sunday. Sunday morning. <laughs> uh, so hangover. You, you lose your appetite. Uh, you you're not completely the same. Uh, you get headache. Yeah, you get a headache. Uh, you know, different different symptoms. Hangover. Yeah, of hangover. course you know because you have hair, right? Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I I hear my friends talking about. Yeah, it. yeah, absolutely. <laughs> same here. All right. Uh, hangover. It, yeah, hangover. Any other questions or comments about the conditionals? No? And the last topic, do you, do, do you guys remember the passive voice? What is the passive voice? Passive voice, we use the passive voice when we need to remind the importance of the action, not the, the subject, sure. the person who is making the action. Right, and what are the two parts that are Mandatory when you're using the, the passive voice. The verb to be and the past participle. Exactly. So you always include verb to be in the past participle of the verb. In the past participle. Okay. Uh, what are the three forms of, of verb to be in present? Um, is, are. Good. What about in the simple past? Was where? Was where? Was where? Was where? Was where? Uh, what is the past participle of be? 
Been. Been. And what is the continuous form of be? Being. 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 Excellent. So when you never you use in the passive voice, uh, it is necessary that you include the verb to be in the form of the verb is past participle. Yes. Be, re be replaced. Be replaced. In both. In both cases. In, in all cases. In all cases. Whenever you use in the passive voice, you need to include the verb to be in the past participle of the verb. Mm -hmm. All right. Any questions yes, or comments? No? Mm -hmm. Okay. No. Um, if we talk about the weather in El Salvador lately, what has the been uh, what has the weather been like? Rainy. Rainy, right? Cold. Yeah, yeah. being windy too. Windy. Sunny. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So let me um yes. let me share this image with you. Uh -huh. Okay, can you see the questions? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes. Yes, now I can. Uh, can someone can, can send it to the chat? Please. Sure. Okay. So let me assign your pairs. Uh -huh. It's right here. Uh -huh. All right, so okay, and here we go. Talk about the rain.
Well, hello, teacher. I'm sorry, uh, Jessica has a situation with the, the microphone, so we are in the chat. Okay, let me, uh, so let me move you to another group, Carlos. Okay, thank you. Okay. Bye, Jessica. And I will move Jessica to another one in case she fixes it. Rainy season all the year. <laughs> Hello, ladies. Hi, Carlos. Hello. Hi, Carlos. I was listening. <laughs> I speak a lot. Uh, you want to answer number four, Carlos? Oh, yes, thank you. Uh, in my case, of course, that I prefer uh, when it rain more. Uh, because sometimes you have rain and and the weather the the, the heat go, going down but i think in the people who lives in in dangerous places uh, so maybe it is not so good for them yes. you know yeah it's true it the well i mean the uh uh, uh size alto oh really yeah in other another shot in okay i will keep in mind for my next yeah uh, teacher yes hola teacher hi teacher we are talking about coffee and rain <laughs> <We are talking> <laughs> <laughs> yes okay. because if if we hear rain we we think about coffee <laughs> okay do you think the rain changes the temperature of course. Uh, yes, think yes, so? totally. I mean, I, I think so. Yeah, because some people said, oh, it's raining. Let me get a sweater. Oh, it's um, raining. Oh, let me get a coffee. Right. It's a better yeah. coffee. Right, right. You know, I drink coffee uh, every day, but if it rains, uh, you know, it doesn't make me. It doesn't matter. Yeah, so I drink coffee anyways, but... Yeah, some people react different when, when they rain. They seem to get a sweater, they drink coffee. So they do- the How many cups of coffee uh, do you drink? Uh, usually two, usually two. two. One in the morning and one around uh, 4.30 or 5 p.m., which is when I'm planning my, my lesson. So I need to stay uh, alert. You know. Okay. Right. That's great. Yeah. Do you like with sugar? No, no sugar. No sugar. High five. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You know, like and I'm and I don't drink coffee with sugar because you know when when um let's see, how many years ago? Like seven, like six or five years ago. When uh, you were, were a teenager. Uh, yeah, okay, exactly. No. <laughs> <laughs> so uh the doctor told me, look, you need to eliminate uh, sugar from your diet. So coffee was the first thing that I took the sugar from. So, and, and coffee without sugar is the best. Uh, yes, yes, sir, yes, I agree. Yeah, so, 
All right. How, I have a question. Yeah. How we can say cafe, cafe negro, coffee, coffee black, or black exactly. coffee? No. American coffee. No, you, you call it, well, it depends how strong you want it. You call it express or American. Okay. Like the real, real coffee is, it's an express, you know, like. Oh, no, no. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Like express. Yeah. Express. Yeah, expresses are, are, are good. I prefer American. Yeah, American is fine. You know, I usually have, if I'm going to go to a place and I know there's going to be coffee, I usually try to have a, a packet of coffee or extra coffee so I can make it really strong. Really? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's good. Yep. Yeah. All right. When I... Uh -huh. The other places may cause like disasters. So here it's okay, but in other places near is not so good. Yes, I think. Uh, that's what I thought that you will go, go early every day, right? Yeah, around 6 a.m. Okay. Yes. Yeah, very early. Yes, they're early. Okay. So, Jessica. I can remember the, when I was uh, going to work by, by bus and it was raining. <laughs> <laughs> I really wish that the rain stopped for a while, at least to, to, to have the time to take the bus and so on. Because oh. if don't, I, I got wet or to the work. So, you know, maybe the yes. rain is the only, the only yes, time I that I, I wish to. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, it's correct. It's correct in, in, in your case, okay? <laughs> well, it's... So okay. let's see the ninth question. Do you think rain means the same thing to people in different countries? Um, I don't know exactly because uh, the in, in those days. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, I think they're the same because um, sometimes it just starts raining and it's too many days and the problem is that, that that rain can affect many people and for the yes. reason I, I don't like when uh, I spend too much time in rain. Yes, especially lately uh, the yes. rain has been uh, destruct destructive. Yes, it's true. Yes, so, I, I really, really have wished it, it stopped. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Um, number nine. With old knowledge, I don't know. La gente del, de los Maybe, pueblitos. Uh, um, little towns, I don't know. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. They, uh -huh. yeah. they think that the rain is a blessing blessing maybe but for us it's like oh it's raining it's a nice day but i don't know yeah it, it depends the people i can imagine in africa that uh, they uh -huh. hope the rain because it's so i don't know how to say this is it a desert um desert so um uh, yeah, but 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 how do you say arido? I don't remember. Arid. Um, but it, it is arid. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. It is. We have, uh, for example, in in London, uh, it's really common that you have rain for days, but it nothing happened, you know, because they don't have uh, in in a, in the misery like in El Salvador or or any country in the region. Maybe it is not the same. Uh, even Costa Rica, uh, I, I, I met Costa Rica for long times, and they have a, a strong rains because they have a lot of uh, a forest, I, I suppose. Uh, but they, if you don't, if you have the news, if you hear the news for that country, you can hear that they have uh, things like us, for example. Uh, because they, they are different, like I say, a couple of days, they are the half of 
of the po of the population, the half of us in the in the twice the double size of the of our country. So I think it's different for every region or country, I suppose. Yes. Yeah, Costa Rica is another story. You know, like it's a small country, but Costa Rica has five percent of all flora and fauna in all the world. Can you exactly. imagine that? I mean, like mm -hmm. Costa Rica, a small country with 5% of all flora and fauna, that speaks good for them. You know, they take care of nature. Exactly. Mm -hmm. they, they are in a list for, uh, of countries who that uh, care of the forest. environment. Exactly. Yep. Yep. They are in the same list with Finland, for example. Uh, if you say it's an it's a country from from Central America, Central America, it is it is weird. I think. Right. It is. It is. Yes. Okay. The rain. Uh, to hear. To hear the rain. Yes. Yeah. yeah. To hear the rain and the thunders too. I think it's it's nice. It's so relaxing, right? It is, yeah. What do you think, teacher? About what, Karen? Uh, to hear the rain falling? It's one of the best sounds on earth. Yes, yes. You know, I, when I go to sleep, uh, like right now, I always have a fan on, you know. But when I go to sleep, when I go lay down, sometimes I sacrifice the fan so I can hear the rain better, you know. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. That, that's so I, I, I love, I do love the sound of the rain. It's really, really nice. Yes, yeah, yes, I agree, I agree. In, in, in YouTube, there is uh, some channels uh, that you can hear uh, the the rain falling okay yes if if is if, if it doesn't raining if i don't know how i can say <laughs> yeah no i understand what you're saying yeah like they the, you play uh the youtube channel you put rain and you get some nice sounds yes yes totally yeah or when you want to hear the sound of 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 the beach or uh, yes. the sound of you're in the middle of a forest, uh, birds singing and, and things like that. Yes, it's, it's so relaxing. Right, right. Yeah, but there's nothing better than the real rain. <laughs> you're right. Yeah, yeah. Guys, do you think the, the rain smells to something? Uh, I think it smells like nature. Because it's a uh, because it has a smell difficult to describe, but it, you know, it's it's nature. I think it depends the place where you are. I right. think right, right, and also at the beginning of the raining season, it smells different. It smells something to, uh, uh ¿cómo se dice lodo? Mud, 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 right, but. I like it. Right. Yeah. It's a, it's a nice smell, natural yes. smell. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Or, and, uh huh. I I feel like or I smell like uh, tierra ground. Uh, yeah. Land. <laughs> land. Yeah, ground too. A wetland. <laughs> right. <laughs> you know? Yeah. I like the the that smell. Yeah. Yeah. And that's what Salvadorians say when you recently <laughs> take a shower. We said, oh. <laughs> it smells like tierra mojada, you know. Yes. Uh, uh, so uh, I can say la wetland. Yeah, wetland. <laughs> yeah, wetland okay. or wet ground, like you said. Yeah. Okay. Thank All you. All right. Um, depends. If I am in in a place where the roof is uh, made of metal, <laughs> maybe it's it's annoying. <laughs> but but okay. if you are in a place where you cannot hear a lot of noise, it sounds sounds okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah the, the The second floor of my house is tin. It's it's mm -hmm. uh, it's zinc alum. I think it's the name. So yeah. you know when it rains, it, you can hear the the rain clearly. You know, like uh, 
even if it's light rain, you enjoy it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so um, it, it depends on the roof that you have above you. You're right. Yes. Teacher, just one question. Yes. Uh, the number seven. Uh -huh. Have you ever done a rain dance? Yes. <laughs> it it's it's what what rain dance means as the kids play or yeah yeah a rain dance like rain uh, it's literal dancing under the rain. Ah, okay, under the rain. Yeah, yeah just okay, okay. Yeah. And yeah. the and the number five. What kind yeah. of rain do you like? Uh huh. Uh, soft rain, strong rain. Ah, okay. The ones with uh with wind, because there are different types of rain. Yeah, yeah I re I remember just the the movie Forrest Gump. Right. Mm -hmm. And they had that 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 particular. Um, they were talking about that the kind of rain. <laughs> Right, Forrest Gump, that's one of my favorite movies. Yeah, it's a very good one. Yeah, I, I have watched that movie uh, maybe, I don't know, maybe five or six times in my life. And if, <laughs> if, and if, they, um, if they say, look, they're playing Forrest Gump, I will watch it again. <laughs> it's very good. Yeah. All, all the events exactly. in the movie are, are very particular. And yeah. special, I think. Yeah, and everything looks so real. I mean, it's like, it's a good movie. When he met Kennedy, <laughs> and when, when he invented the, the happy face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember that movie. It, it came out in the late 90s, I think. Late 90s, yes. Yeah, late 90s, and it's a classic. Now it is, yeah. Yeah, it's a classic. It's a really, wrong really good movie. Wrong for this, wrong. Right, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, nice movie. Yes. Really, really nice movie. Okay, let me visit someone else. Them uh, very clearly, mm -hmm. and it's, it's difficult. I, I, I don't like it. I don't like it. Anymore. Yeah, of course. I, so uh, you, you really need to learn English for your work. Uh, you, uh, uh, not, not necessary because in my, in my, in my work is. Um, we we speak only in Spanish, oh, but okay. I I is is a goal. Uh, uh, in my, in my case, is yeah. something personal goal. Yes. Oh yeah, and <laughs> which is very good. It's very good because yes, you know, but... we always have to set up goals to ourselves to get improved yes. or knowledge. Do, yeah, I don't remember if you told me. Do you do you have a son, a children? No, no, I don't. Uh, actually, yeah. I'm married. Uh, I'm married, but we don't have kids yet. Not yet. Not yet. Huh? No, but actually, to be honest with you, we are not planning to have them. <laughs> really? Yes. No, yeah, it's it's have... good. It's good because uh, <laughs> yeah, teacher teacher has five <laughs> five children. <laughs> I remember. Really? <laughs> really? Yes. You have five, five, five yes, kids? I have five no. kids. Yeah, the first oh, one yeah. is um twenty seven. And the last when one is, is three and a half. Oh. Okay. It, yeah. It was nice age for my parents' yeah. family because I have four four brothers. I'm the last one. Okay. I have four brothers. Yeah, my father had five kids, and um, uh, as I mentioned, uh, my wife and I have decided not not to have kids. So we are we have spoken about that. Okay. And we agree the same thing. Mm -hmm. All okay. right. And not does your yeah. wife have no, siblings? No, no. Does she have siblings? Yes, they have, but we are not too close. I mean, we see them. Okay, uh, like once in a time while. To time. Mm -hmm. Okay. Not, yeah, once in a while. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. Yeah. Yeah, I think that uh, you know, like I know um, several couples that they have been together for 10, 15, 20 years, and they have decided not to have any children. Yep. Yeah, well, actually, in my case, we got married uh, almost 11 years ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And, and, yeah. and I think if, if there is a better understanding, a better agreement without kids, then why not, you know? 
Yeah, that is the important. Both, right. uh, we both need to, to agree the same, to want the same, because it could right. be an issue actually if uh, when couples are it's not. It's a personal decision uh, yeah. of yeah. the couple. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, let's go back to the main thing. All right, any questions or comments about? Uh, the rain. No, teacher. No. Did you used to play under the rain a lot when you were a kid? Yeah, all kids love. <laughs> yeah. Yes. <Under> the rain. <laughs> it's like the best uh, natural playing resource you may have when you're a kid. <laughs> yeah. Wet shoes. Yeah. Teacher. Yes. Uh, on our group, in our group, I'm sorry, um, there was this question, the smell of the rain, and we said in Spanish, it is tierra mojada. Right. But we were discussing that you cannot literally uh, translate. translate it. Uh -huh, because okay. it says like wet soil, wet earth, wet dust. Good land. Yeah, soil is good. Soil is good. But Get it's room. yeah, soil. Good. Soil is it's like if you have soil plus soil. water, you can plant a tree. So it means no, yeah. but I mean, we were saying like it's strange. It's like an idiom for us. Right. Right. Yes. Mm -hmm. And what about the ground? What is can it? You, can you see, can you say get a wet ground? Wet ground, like, like, like Rossi Bill was saying, you know, that's a Spanish um, idiom that we have, que, que somebody smells like tierra mojada. Uh, you could say wetland, wet ground, wet soil, wet, um, what's the other one you mentioned, Rossi Bill? Dust. Dust, dust. wet okay. dust. So, uh, it would depend where you are, because you might say, okay, wet soil, wet ground, wet land, maybe in English doesn't have the same uh, meaning that you're trying to say. So, mm -hmm. right, so uh, you have to, when you're translating idioms, especially, you have to be careful with the with the expressions that you use, the vocabulary that you use. Okay. All right? Yeah. And it an idiom about the rain, for example, American people used to say that it's raining cats and dogs when they're having a yeah, really like, like a rain. storm, right? Uh -huh. Right, yeah. raining yeah. cats and dogs. Cats and dogs. What What are the animals that we use in El Salvador to use the same expression? Gato y ratón. Gato y ratón. Gato, perro gato. Sapo y culebra. Sapo y culebras. Sapo y culebras. Yeah. Toads and snakes. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So it does, uh, you know, like uh, when you're talking about idioms, you know, like the, the vocabulary that you use is it, not literal. You're saying something completely different yeah, with different correct. vocabulary. Like okay, cats and dogs. And like cats and dogs, what do cats and dogs have to do with their strong rain? No, it's just an idiom. Yeah. It's just an expression. Right, right. It's an idiomatic expression, right? Now, if you say sapos y culebras in in in, uh, in, uh, in another country that they speak Spanish, maybe it doesn't have a meaning. Maybe Ecuador has a different vocabulary. Colombia, Mexico. So, you know, that's why idioms are, you know, they make a particular part of the country where you are special. Any other questions or comments about rain? Mm -hmm. What happens when there is too much rain? What is the consequence with the water? Flooding. Uh, Floodings, yes. Flooding. Yeah. Flooding. Yes, they flood. Mm -hmm. Okay. How do you say se desbordó el río? The, the river flood? Overflow. Overflow. Uh, Overflow. 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 So remember, when you, um, when you use the word over in something that you're saying, that means that it reached the limit. 
And when you reach the limit, then it becomes a problem, right? Now, what is the function of, the, of a microwave oven? What do you do with a microwave? To heat. heat. Right, right. Heat. So imagine you're preparing a marriage hand, three minutes, but by accident you put six minutes. What is the result? It got overheated. 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 Or, or overcooked. overcooked. Now, overcooked is when, uh, let's say you're preparing a barbecue and uh, you're preparing the meat and you get distracted, you do something else. When you return, <laughs> the meat is black. So that's overcooked. <laughs> overcooked. Right. Okay. Quemada. Yeah. Burn. Yeah. Burn. Overcooked. Overheated. Well done, done. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So anytime that you say the word over, that means that you hit the limit and now you're having inconvenience for hitting that limit. Right? Mm -hmm. right. right. Okay. All right. Any comments or questions about rain? How do you say pringar in English? Spring sprinkling. Sprinkle? Oh, uh, sprinkle would be like, um, you could say sprinkle. But drizzling is, is drizzling. Drizzling, is yeah, yeah drizzling. drizzling, drizzling. Can can you spell it? Can sure, you write, sure. write it? Please? I'll, I'll write it right now. Drizzle. Drizzle means springar. Oh. Now, if you're drizzle. ready to leave your house and it's drizzling, you tell people, "Look, we need to take an umbrella. It's drizzling." It's drizzling. Yes. Drizzling. All right. Okay. Sprinkle, uh, sprinkle is like when you use that thing um, to water your plants, huh? Sprinkle. Yes. Or when you are cooking, like uh, you're reading the instructions on how to prepare a chicken, they say sprinkle salt. So you grab salt and you go like this. That's sprinkle. Salpicar. Right. Sprinkle. So the water sprinkles too. But drizzling is the real word to say pringar. Any okay. other questions or comments? Mm -hmm. No? Mm -hmm. Well, it's been a pleasure working with you guys. Um, I, I think it was the, this is my first time that I have the same group uh, two times, back to back. You so, need to finish finishing with us. Yeah, it will the... be good. It will be good. Please. But, um, I think that, uh, you know, that you guys will have a, a new teacher as of next Monday. So I want to thank you for your time, for your patience. Congratulations, because I know that being connected from 9 to 10, it's, it's not an easy task. You could be sleeping, you could be watching TV, you could be spending time with your kids, but you have decided to, um, to improve your English, and that is good. And that is good. Thank you. So congratulations to every person in the group. Uh, thank you very much, thank and you. see you when I see you. I, thank you. Sir. I'm sorry, teacher. Thank you, question. teacher. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Nice meeting you. It's a pleasure, Teacher, I'm sorry. Uh, the next yes. Monday, we, we are going you, to teacher. start the next course. Yes, we start uh, the next course this coming Monday, and that's why you guys have until today at midnight to finish the platform because Inglés Corporativo is sending everybody's names tomorrow to InsaForm. And anybody that doesn't have the 80% will not be included in the next level. So okay. if Monday, you, 20, 20, 23rd. 23rd. Monday, 23rd, um, you start the new, the new level. Yes. Thank you. You thank didn't you. ask for the day today. What is it? I guess, no, I, I was going to say you always ask what day is today, oh. but, I, but, I, <laughs> but I asked, but I asked. Yeah, I'm sorry. Okay. All right. I so, all right. So thank you very much, people. Have a good night and sleep well. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. You, thank you too. Thank you. Good night. Awesome. Bye, bye. Bye, bye. Very nice to meet you guys. Yes, bye. It was my bye. pleasure too. Yes. Bye, friends. Bye, teacher. Bye, 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 bye.